In this video, I'll show you how to record your piano keyboard to your MacBook. It's pretty simple to do, but you'll need a few things first. This StarTech TRRS adapter is the main cable that allows this to work. On one end, it has a 3.5mm plug with four metal sections on it, plus a couple of ports on the other end that have headphone and microphone icons on them. You also need two of these 3.5mm patch cables. These have three metal sections on the plugs. You also need a quarter inch to 3.5 millimeter adapter plug and also a 3.5 millimeter stereo Y splitter seen on the left. Last thing you'll need is either a speaker or a set of headphones for monitoring. Now take the Y splitter and plug it into the quarter inch plug. Locate the headphone port on your keyboard and insert the quarter inch plug. Now the two 3.5 millimeter patch cables go into the Y splitter. Grab one of the patch cables, and it doesn't matter which one, and plug it into the speaker. Or you can substitute this cable and speaker with headphones. You'll need this because the keyboard speakers are disabled with the quarter inch plug inserted. The TRRS adapter cable should now be plugged into the MacBook. For the last connection, grab the other 3.5mm patch cable and plug it into the TRRS adapter port with the microphone icon on it. This setup is now ready for recording. For recording software, I'm using Adobe Audition CC, but you can also use Audacity for Mac, which is free. Right before recording, adjust the keyboard's volume level to about halfway up to start. And now you can see the waveform registering the sound from the keyboard as I hit the keys. Now I don't know how to play piano, but at least you can see that it's recording. You may have to adjust the volume after your first test if the audio sounds distorted. There are several cables needed to do this, but recording a piano keyboard to a MacBook isn't difficult to do. And now I'll leave you with this catchy tune that I'm sure you'll remember. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more how-to videos and product reviews.